Hi guys, I'm Vyomi Singh. Welcome to my channel. In previous videos, we have already discussed interview experience of Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, Flipkart, DirectEye and many more. In today's video, we are going to talk with Mohit who got selected for internship at Google as well as Rubrik as software developer intern. So today he is going to share his interview experience with all of you. Hi Mohit, welcome to our channel. Hi Vimesh. Hi everyone. Oh, okay. Let me introduce a short intro of myself. I'm a fourth year dual degree student at IIT Madras. My current degree is computer science and I have been doing pro competitive programming from last two years. And I started my coding journey in my college itself, like at the end of first year when I came to know about all these competitive coding sites. Right now, my main focus of area of interest is like computer networks and distributed systems. And I I have a lot of fun like doing the projects in systems like cloud computing, etc. Uh, yeah, and if you want to know something more about me, about my studies, like what was my school and all, uh, I'll provide the, my LinkedIn profile link to Vimesh. He will put in the description. Uh, Mohit, you were not familiar with the programming uh, before the college. You are totally new in this. So how you start your journey and how you love so much programming that you are uh, code force master and five star uh, code chef coder yeah the actually in our indian colleges most of the colleges not all the people like it's very important for students to start competitive coding at like from the first year itself i didn't start in first year that was a downside for me but i had a five year uh, program in iit madras so i like managed to handle that but for most of the students who want to like sit for play internship and want to like get good companies like Google, Rubrik or Microsoft, any good company, they need to have a good programming practice till the end of their second year. So it's very important if they start in the first year itself, see the curricular in the college will run very slow and they will teach you coding like uh, first year is usually the common and they will start the coding courses like either from the second semester or third semester. The best way to get in coding is make some friends which are already into coding and discuss the problems with them and start giving contests as early as possible. Start giving virtual zone code forces. That's like the best way. And like if your rating is decreasing, don't compare yourself to your friends who already know coding. Be like Try to be consistent and don't lose hope. That's all I can say. And keep giving contests. And one more thing, don't practice all the like questions like some people do for uh, say they practice uh, a lot of questions. It's not about practicing the quantity. It's about the quality of questions that you practice. So try whenever you give a contest, try to uh, do the questions uh, later after the contest, which you were not able to do. Look up on the editorial and see the new techniques. Try to learn new techniques every time. With starting, you might way. have felt uh, feeling behind from others, like yeah. left out or something, because many of them are already know the coding. So yes. how you cope up with it? And was it uh, some insecurity there that I don't know coding? Everyone else is know the coding already. They have. So what was how you deal with? this psychology yeah that's it's it's whole confidence game yeah you you should not lose confidence that uh, you don't know the coding and you can't uh, reach to the that level it's like you have to be consistent and try to give as many contests as possible and for learning part youtube has everything like whatever you want it's available at free at youtube just search try to or there is one site like uh, algorithms dot in they have listed the algorithms in series like it will give you a good taste and they will uh, uh, give you the algorithm learn that algorithm and there are links to the questions and you can practice those questions and later on you will find that those questions are get like if you are able to do three questions uh, in a consistent manner the fourth question will be something related to that topics so try okay. to learn new things and, so yeah. uh, guys is try to uh, strong your basics first you yeah. can't solve all the uh, questions of label in the uh, uh, various platform like code force and code but if you have a good concepts then 
uh, if you have solved only three question you might have uh, you will be able to solve other 10 as well yeah. okay mohit uh, now uh, come to our main part uh, yes. first we talk about the rubric what was the intensive procedure for software developer intern at rubric yeah rubric takes like a one okay there was some kind of initial screening according to some cg i guess or something according to projects or something then there was something like online round online coding test and then they had two technical interviews and one hr interview hr round was also a little bit of technical side only it wasn't a pure hr round like that was a little bit biased towards system designing and all hey, tell us about your coding round experience of rubric yeah the coding round was what i found was rubric had the most difficult coding challenge among all the companies that i sat in they had like four questions and if i rate on the basis of code forces rating i'll say the first question was 1900 then say 2000 then 2200 then the last question i was not able even to like guess what it will be so i'll say it was about 2400 or 2500 okay yeah, so that's were, quite difficult question. yes they were difficult and in our our IIT, like uh, no one was able to solve the last question. Oh, yeah. And they covered a, a variety of uh, topics. Like uh, the first question was DP. Then there was graphs question. There was greedy question also. They were seriously very good question. Like they gave a lot of effort in designing the questions. So, how many questions have you solved? And um, many of your friends have uh, solved for rubric. So most of the people were actually able to solve uh, around one one point five questions. The those were doable, and like anyone who knows the uh, competitive coding was able to do that. I myself was able to do two uh, two point five questions, like first two questions and half of the third question. Yeah, and anyone who did like two or more questions was selected for the interview. What the length of the coding round test means? Uh, time uh, uh, given. Uh, it was around two hours, two hours, and two it hours. was quite less. It was very less. Okay, in two hours, four questions, and all the questions are uh, code force and nineteen hundred above. Yes. So it's quite difficult. After written test, you have faced two technical round of interview with Rubric. So how was your interview experience with Rubric? Was it difficult as they was they written? No, actually the uh, interview was quite standard, like. Uh, interview questions were not that difficult as the uh, coding test questions and yeah and each round was i remember one hour for me what happened was for the first start the interview happened then in the same meeting link as the interviews were all virtual so in the same meeting link so different interviewer came in and he took for another one hour so for me it was like two hours continuously uh, technical round Okay, so we will talk about your interview one by one. In the first round, what was the interview experience? What did they ask? Did they focus on the data structure and algorithm quantity programming or they focus on your resume uh, projects and all? No, it, it it was a competitive coding question only. It was like technical round. And that question too was not an easy question, but I had seen earlier something similar to that. So I was able to solve that question. Uh, uh, regarding the question, the exact question I will send to Vimesh. He will provide the link in description to the exact same question. Uh, but I can give you some hints like how the question was. It was something like grid was given. And so from the grid, you had to convert into some graph. And on the graph, you had to perform some BFS techniques to uh, like find to get the final answer. So you're getting what I'm trying to say, right? The question was not direct. It was like you have to reduce the problem into entirely different segment and then solve it. So the main focus of the interviewer was whether uh, like someone is able to guess that thing or not. Like he's able to convert that grid thing into graph. That was the only main focus in that question. Did they ask you just the approach or they also ask you to write the code? No, they asked the like whole code was written and it was compiled and checked on some test cases too. Okay. So they asked you to write the code as well. Yeah, yeah, a whole code was written. Actually, they did not ask to compile and test. I had a lot of time extra remaining in my interview. So they just went on like compiling and testing. That was not okay. the part of that. So in uh, first round, they ask only one question and you have uh, compiled it as well as run it on some 
coding platform yes. so yes. how was your second round experience how is it different from first round of technical interview uh, it was not uh, different some people got like the same question which i got in their second round and the question i got in my second round was asked in some people's first round so they were actually both the similar so in second round also they asked me something related to dp bitmask it was doable like those who have done any bitmask dp question he will be able to do and one more thing like i was not able to guess that dp, uh, DP approach as like they won't tell you the what's the size of the input so it becomes little challenging like should you directly go on brute force like dp bitmask is something like brute force only right so it it becomes challenging for the candidate to guess it's like direct brute force so the interviews were very helping like they gave little hints they told me that you may try brute force or like something related to bitmask or something they were very helpful and they were they seemed interested also like they they were very friendly that so you might have uh, stuck in some uh, somewhere in the questions and uh, in some test cases as well so what was the approach of the interview that time yeah like uh, as i said they were helping like uh, they were giving pointers to where i could be wrong or where i could improve my code or like how much time complexity i'm getting and how i can improve they were giving pointers like yeah so guys uh, link of the both question asked in both interview also in the description you can check in the description now we will talk about the final round after the successfully completion of the two technical interview round you have faced the final round so how was your experience of the final round who took the final round he was just hr person or some senior person manager or something and how it is different from previous round yeah the hr round uh, as far as i know was taken by rubric india head uh, as it was told my by my friends and the round was very i will say the most uh, difficult and deciding factor in the whole interview process most of my friends got rejected in this hr round itself like they performed very good in interview uh, technical rounds but they were not able to answer something related to operating systems in the hr round and they were rejected because of that so hr round was a very important deciding factor in rubric and for me they uh, for first few minutes they discussed my resume and they gave a lot of stress on my projects and my interns and i had a one intern at purdue university uh, which i did in this summer so for half an hour like he was grinding on my whole project what all i did and how it all it was implemented and how i coordinated the whole team and everything then uh, there were some questions related to distributed systems and cloud computing because i had mentioned those projects in my resume so he asked related to that so he has some technical questions related to that so if you have seriously done those projects in your, and you have written in your resume like then it will be very easy and one pointer i want to give is like don't uh, write some buzzwords in your in your resume you will have to suffer if you don't know your resume properly and uh, guys uh, nowadays hr round is not the hr round is it it's mainly managerial round a manager or some top level person take the interview of the final round so he ask you everything about what have you done and he the interview totally technical it mo- might not be the data structure and competitive programming question but he will ask you whatever the project internship have you done and he might ask you the breadth of knowledge like uh, uh, d- uh, database uh, operating system computer network anything whichever you have mentioned in most of the time in your resume itself am i right mohit yeah yeah resume is like you should be uh, know each and every word which you what you have written in resume they will find some word if you don't know that word then you are gone okay uh, uh, so guys it's all about the rubric and i think he gave you the pretty much clear idea about the rubric uh, internship interview procedure so every question ask in the online round or interview round in the description so please go through the description and check whatever you require and please do like share and subscribe the video uh, it's wonderful talking to you uh, so thank you thank you very much mohit 
yeah thank you thanks guys whoever uh, are watching i think this may help you a little bit it, it this interview may uh, like our conversation may not clear all of your doubts and if you have something serious uh, i last we managed to mention my email id in the description you can mail me at any time i will reply you like linkedin you doubts or anything mohit linkedin and email id is in the description and if you have any question regarding this interview you can uh, leave the comment in comment section as well as you can ask us in the linkedin message or email as well thank you guys thank you very much please don't forget to like share and subscribe it will motivate us to create more content like this so thank you very much guys thank you very much mohit thanks thanks very much thanks mohit